Welcome to this video tutorial on installing IC3D Steel. Begin the installation by running the supplied installation package. Click Next, accept the terms, Next again. Select an installation location and install. Once installation is complete, Remember to run the library installation wizard. When you install in the library, you will need to first close SolidWorks if it is already open. There are three options. We're installing server and client today. You could install server only if you intend to share your IC3D library with others and client only if you're using a shared library on your machine. Next step is to download and install MySQL. Go to the URL mysql.com in your browser Click on Downloads and then click on MySQL Community Edition. Once in here, you want to download the MySQL Community Server. Click on Download. Scroll to the bottom of the screen, then download the Windows MySQL Installer MSI, this one here. The correct package to install is a MySQL Installer Community MSI, this one here. The version number might be different. Scroll down to the bottom of this screen Notice that the download is quite large, so it'll take a little time. Click on Start My Download and wait for the installation. Open up the download package and you see this screen. Click on Install MySQL Products, Accept, Skip Updates, and let's install a custom installation. Now we need to configure things. On the first configuration, MySQL Server, we skip these steps, Debug, Development and Client C API. Under Applications, we don't need MS SQL for Excel or Visual Studio. On Connectors, we only require the ODBC connector. On Documentation, we don't require. Click Next again and Execute. Find another next and configuration commences. Now the configuration can pretty well be left as you find it here. Now enter a password for the database. Use a password you remember and write it down, we'll need it later. Click Next. These options do not need to be changed. Click Next. Click Next. And Finish. Now we need to set up the connector to the database. So click on this button here. Put in the username which is root and the password you entered earlier. Select the ODBC ANSI driver from the drop-down here. Click IC Steel and then OK. Execute 
OK this warning message. And we get a confirmation that the database has been set up. We now enter in a file path to store the cache and the profiles. And that completes the library installation. Now we can drag our library components into the database. Make sure all the folders go into the library. Do note that this process can take some time as all the profiles and joints etc are copied into your database. Once complete, close the window and confirm you wish to save all the changes. The next step is to activate your license of IC3D Steel. When you start SolarWorks, you'll receive this dialog box. Enter the activation key here and press Activate. You should see a message come up in green, shown here, that says the license is now activated. If you do not have a license key, please contact your account manager. Now let's update our library. Inside SolarWorks IC3D Steel, click on the check for updates. Then click on Download for the new joints you want to download. Once the download is complete, you just have to drag the new folder you've downloaded into your library and press the green tick. That completes the update of the library and this installation video for IC3D Steel.